Hello and welcome back to Coding with T. Today we are going to start the media section from now onwards inside our Flutter e-commerce Flutter panel. And in the previous tutorials we have already covered the six sections and this one is the seventh section. So first of all, this is the media section and we are inside our e-commerce admin panel that is already hosted at the above given URL. You can get the complete code, link is in the description and also you can test it on this link and also the credentials for the email and password is provided. Okay, so first of all, inside this media section and now onward in other tutorials, the tutorial today that we are going to focus on, you can see at the top this dashboard when I'm going to hover over this, this is clickable, but not this media, right? So we're going to create, basically we call it as a breadcrumbs and also with these breadcrumbs we are going to add the heading and let's say if I'm going to open the products, we have the dashboard by default and then with the stash we have products and then down below we have the title. But when we are going to click on this add product, you can see now the breadcrumbs change, the dashboard is clickable, the products which is the previous class is also clickable and the last create product screen is not clickable, right? So and also this title you can see and the new thing over here is the back arrow. So we are going to create a one reusable widget that will be used throughout in all the screens and I'm going to call it as the breadcrumbs with the heading. So we will focus on this back arrow as well. We will focus on these URLs and if I'm going to click on this dashboard, you can see we are heading toward this dashboard and we can see the dashboard which we have already covered in the previous tutorials or in the previous section typically. So if you're new, you can watch the previous videos. Link is in the description. Okay, we are creating Flutter e-commerce admin panel and we are in the seventh section which is the media section which is very important and going to be very helpful and very fruitful for your future videos in the first section we learn how to configure everything as you can see all the videos are here then in the second section we cover the routing and navigation which is a very important tutorial when it's come to use the flutter web or the flutter web apps then the responsive screens again very useful and then we talk about the admin management how to register the admin and how to work with the role based system then we learn the tables definitely a lot of use of tables inside the admin panels and after that we covered the dashboard which is the previous last section and now we are moving toward the media screen and in this typically as you can see uh, we do not have all the points listed over here but the first tutorial is going to be how we are going to add the breadcrumbs and the next tutorial is going to how to add the drag and drop feature so let's get started with today's tutorial we are inside the project that we have created for our e-commerce student panel and i have created a new folder for media inside the features as a separate feature not inside the shop so we have a media feature with the controller model and screens means it is an mvc model structure so inside the controllers currently we do not have to do anything but it is an empty media controller class then we have a model of image model again an empty model then we have screens the same pattern screens of media folder we have responsive screens desktop mobile and tablet and then we have widgets currently nothing in it and in the media we have a media screen class which is a status widget and in the build method we are using t site template which is as you can see we created in our previous responsive section tutorial you can get the link in the description and in that currently we are only designing the desktop so i have pasted the desktop screen because if you see the t site template and in the desktop if we did not provide it the tablet it is going to use the desktop and if we are not going to provide the mobile design it is going to use the desktop design again so that's why i just have to provide the desktop over here and it will work for mobile tablet and desktop right so we can design different layouts if needed but first let's focus on the desktop but as today's tutorial we are not going to add media directly over here but if you see the desktop screen i have simply added a scaffold single child scroll view padding from all the sides of the screen the equal padding with a default space which is 24.0 then we have a column to align or lay down all the elements from top to bottom and as today's tutorial inside the header which is a row we are going to create the breadcrumbs if i open this again you can see on this side we have breadcrumbs but on the right side we have the upload images so that's why i used a row over here the first element will be breadcrumbs with heading and the second element in the row will be 
upload images button when we're going to click on this we will display a box or a section in which we can upload the images so that is the next tutorial so let's create the header so for the breadcrumbs i'm not going to create them over here but instead if we go to the common widgets and in the breadcrumbs folder i have a separate breadcrumb and breadcrumb with heading dot dot you can use different classes but i'm going to code everything over here and then we can extract the breadcrumb simply into this dot dot file so let's get started don't worry about these comments it's a simple status widget the name is t breadcrumbs with a heading and in the column the first thing is breadcrumb trail means the actual breadcrumb then we have a space because we are inside the column if you see this so we have to create the column to stack elements top to bottom so first one is the breadcrumbs then we have a space and then we have the heading so first one is the trail so first of all in the trail we have to create a static dashboard so i added a text name it dashboard style that i'm going to use is a text theme for body small and and the font size delta will be minus one to reduce a little bit of font weight so that it can look skinny we are going to first of all inside our media desktop screen i am going to call the breadcrumbs with heading and in order to run this if you remember the from the previous tutorials we have to go to the routes and in the routes dot dart we have to create a screen for media like this this will be the url for the media to be displayed in the url you can watch routing and navigation of section 2 to understand all these things and then in the app routes we have to use this media screen and in the get page name will be the t routes from media and which screen we want to display whenever this media page route will be used we want to open the media screen and the middleware that we want to use is the t routes middleware that we have already created and if you open the common widgets in the layouts we have a sidebar and now in the sidebar we have to create the menu item the first one is the dashboard and second one is the media and you can see the routes t routes dashboard and t routes media so whenever they are going to be tapped we will be redirected to that specific screen now let me run this application okay so as you can see our application is running and over here if we select the media we can only see the dashboard text which is in the text but if in order if you can see by following all the tutorials that this dashboard is by default not selected this is because if you go to the sidebar controller and instead of the empty routes previously if you follow the tutorial it was like this and then i change it to the dashboard so that active item at first will be the dashboard item right so so we are back over here with the breadcrumb and now in order to add some space around the text we have to wrap it with the padding widget and edge inserts dot all will be the t sizes dot extra small which is only 4.0 so that we can add a little bit of space around the text and also in order to make that text clickable and also that click should be visible i'm going to use the inkwell property so that we can add a splash and that splash will be added using on tap and whenever it is going to be tapped we want to get dot off all off all means of all named this means that remove all the previous routes and go to the dashboard right so and to go to the routes we can again use t routes dot dashboard this is going to take us to this dashboard screen so this is only a dashboard text now in order to create the next elements we first have to wrap this inkwell with a row the first element was the dashboard link now right after this we are going to loop through all the text that we are going to receive inside this widget for that as you can see the first heading we are going to receive the name of the heading that this widget has to display so first one is a string with the name of heading then you can see it's a list of breadcrumb items representing the navigation path this means we need a list over here heading is a string and this list is again going to be a list of string and last one is a boolean type of flag which is going to return to previous screen so if this is true we are going to display the back arrow otherwise we are not going to display the back arrow if we see our example again and if i'm going to open the products you can see currently inside the list we have only one text over here which is products but when we go to add product at that time we receive two elements inside that list and this is the title of that page and this dashboard is by default written over there using inkwell and this is the back button so we receive one boolean variable to display the back button in this screen it is true we have a title over here and then we have a list of elements that you want to display next to this dashboard right so when you hover over this error you have to add all the fields inside your constructor so that you can get those values from wherever this widget will be used okay now the 
dashboard link is created now next inside this loop we are going to create a for loop and we will use that for loop on top of this breadcrumb list so it will be starting from i is equal to zero means starting from the zero and until it will reach towards the breadcrumb items list let's say we have 10 headings so it will be length will be 10 so that we can loop it from zero to nine now inside while creating the widgets we do not add like these curly brackets but instead we just start creating the widget next to it so we want to create a row widget inside this for loop and we have a children property all the row widgets will first have a backslash like this one or it is a forward slash i'm not sure so this is called a separator between all the text so the first thing is the dashboard will appear over here then loop will be started if there is anything in it and in that loop first of all we're going to add a separator and after that we are again going to use the inkwell so just copy the inkwell at the top and paste it over here but inside over here you can see whenever it is going to be tapped we do not want to go to the dashboard but instead we want to go to the screen which is inside this breadcrumbs item okay we can go to the next screen using get dot two named and we will pass the breadcrumbs item at current index means at current loop number so that we can go to the relevant address let's say we pass the products over here then t routes dot products will take us to the products let's say we have t routes dot brands and let's just keep on going so we, we can easily go to that specific address and if you can see the i starting from zero till nine right so we have to do the minus one and if minus one means this is the last index or the last item then we do not want that item to be clicked because in our case we are going to make the last item as not clickable because i'm going to use it as the name of the current page which is open so that it will not be clickable okay now in here we are going to do the format breadcrumbs item capitalize them because we are going to pass the routes so if we open the routes you can see we have routes like this we do not want to make these routes as names so what we have to do we have to remove this backslash and also we have to make the first letter as capitalized right now in order to do that we again first have to check the length and definitely it is not going to be a dashboard text if it is the last text and the last text will be sent as a simple text not in the routes so that's why I just, I'm just going to extract the text, make it capitalize and to string. That's it. But if it is a route that is clickable and that should be redirected to some other screen, in that case, I'm going to create a separate function, capitalize function, and it is going to take the string function to capitalize the first letter of a string so how it is going to do that if the string is empty that's it nothing to do and if it is not empty get the first character make it to uppercase and attach rest of the string to it so it is going to return us the string and over here what we have to do we have to call this function and inside we have to send the string but which string we want to send definitely we are going to send the name at current index but here is a trick and also we are going to first of all substring means we are going to cut the first character which is the backslash and then we are going to send it to this function to capitalize the rest of the string right now you can control alt l now the breadcrumb is completed you can extract it as a separate widget extract until over here and extract it into a separate widget of called breadcrumb and down below now we are going to create a heading for that i'm going to use a row and the heading will be inside the key page heading widget that we have already created using a simple stateless widget inside the row we have a text and if we want anything on the right side of the widget but in this case we do not want anything on the right side instead we want to create an icon button for the back arrow which will go inside these two if statements if return to previous screen is true we're going to create the icon button on press will take us to the back screen get dot back and the icon we're going to use is this one and this one is again a simple additional space if in case we have icon button in tech then we want to add the space as well so by this way we are done with our design what is the error over here the desktop okay we need to provide the heading heading in this case is the media and what else breadcrumbs we do not want to pass anything and also we have to pass return to previous screen instead of passing return to previous screen over here because in most cases we are not going to pass anything so let's make it false by default okay now save the code 
let's click on media and you can see we have only dashboard and media written over here okay now let's try to add something over here the first thing i'm going to add is troutes dot let's say login and also let's add something else troutes dot forget password and the last thing is a simple string i'm going to name it as media screen so let's save it and you can see this is how it is going to look like dashboard is clickable login is clickable forget password is clickable and media screen is not clickable so you can see this forward slash line inside the password is because we have this forward slash already added inside our design in the t routes you can see we have a forward oh sorry forget password and at the end we have a forward line so this is how we can use the breadcrumbs we have a heading over here and these things are clickable if you click on the login you can see the login screen let's go back and we can click on the forget password we have a forget password over here and same way we can go to the dashboard and after the dashboard there is no back screen because we are calling get dot off all we can again go to the media and we can see rest of the details and if last thing if i'm going to add the return to previous screen to true let's save it and this time you can see we have a back arrow when i'm going to click on this currently we are not going anywhere because we directly refresh the media screen and now when i'm going to go for the media let's go to the back screen and the dashboard is selected okay so that's it for today's tutorial and from now onward we are going to create our media section with the upload area and definitely to display and view the media over here from the firebase so that's it for today's tutorial. If you have any questions, you can ask me down below in the comments. And if you want to complete, download the code, you can get the link down below in the description again. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care.